It still says pre-life. Yeah, are we supposed to have our cameras on or off? Now you're live. Okay. All right. Hi, families. Um, we are going to get started by introducing everyone. Uh, I am Miss France, one of the third grade teachers. I'm going to put on Miss Mulligan. Hi. Welcome to the, our meeting this evening. I'm Mrs. Mulligan. I teach uh, writing, uh, science, and social studies on the 3M sub team. All right, Ms. McLean, I'm going to send it over to you. Hi, I'm Mrs. McLean. Oh. Hi, I'm Mrs. McLean. Thank you for coming to Back to School Night tonight. We're very excited, although this is very different for all of us. I teach math. Um, in third grade, I've been at William Paker for eight years and I love it. Um, and I am part of the 3M sub team. All right, Miss Mayer, I'm heading over to you. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Miss Mayer. I'm the third member of the 3M sub team and I teach reading and word work. All right, Miss Kuhn, we're going to head over to you and she's the other member of the other sub team. Hi everyone, thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Miss Kuhn. Um, you may have recognized me from last year. I taught second grade in the OPR building um, and now I teach third grade and I am on the same sub team as Miss France. I teach all subjects. And Miss Kugel, I'm going to put you on so you can introduce yourself. Uh oh, you're muted. Sorry about that. Um, technology. I'm Ms. Kugel. I'm the third grade special educator and it's so good to see all of you um, virtually tonight. Thank you all for coming. All right, we're going to switch over to our presentation for tonight. Can I have one of our teachers let us know if we can you guys can see this live? You yes. can see Miss France. All right, I'm going to get started with our presentation for tonight. Um, the very first thing I want to let everyone know about is how the live teaching time live team meeting process works. It's a little different than the meetings that the students are entering in normally. Um, there is a bit of a lag from what we are presenting to when you guys receive this information. Um, you will be able to go back in and watch the recorded presentation so that you have this information later on. You will have the opportunity to submit questions during the meeting and after or closer to the end of the meeting. Um, we will try to answer all the questions in the Q&A box and if we don't get to them, we will get to them at the end of the meeting. Um, all of these links were sent to our contact information through email and through our school social media sites. And we are going to get move forward. All right, so some of the um, material that had gone out at the beginning of the school year talked about a virtual attendance tile that was on the student's homepage. We just wanted to make sure that parents know that third grade students do not need to worry about submitting their attendance at this time. Teachers will monitor it when they're in the live teaching sessions and when um, we call so we can talk to the students as we check in on packet work. So please do not worry about the attendance tile at this time um, and we can send out more directions um, hopefully when we get our devices in a couple months. Um, so here are our specials. You will see that Mrs. Amato, Mrs. Ritchie, Mr. Kessler, and Mr. Mongan, and Ms. Bowser. They are our special areas and the Unified Arts teachers. So if your student is at specials and you have a question regarding that subject area, it would be best if you could reach out to them and they should be able to help you. Okay, so this is Mrs. McLean and I'm going to talk about math. So in math, we have math four days a week um, in live sessions. 
two lessons per week are taught, so we spend two days on one lesson. Math time is the same across all of third grade from 1030 to 1145. During that time, your child will view pre-recorded video or possibly more than one video, meet live with the teacher, meet in small groups, and complete independent work. It's important to note that our math curriculum online has several different names. They changed the name over the summer to Savis. So Savis, Realize, Envision, and Pearson, it's all the same. It's all our math curriculum. Um, so just so when you're accessing that, and we'll talk about that in a minute, you know that all those names will take you to the same place. So our main focus and content from now until about winter break are multiplication and division strategies. Um, additional resources are going to be coming to us through Harford County Public Schools for First in Math and Dreambox. Um, we met with the math office on Friday and they told us about it and we're super excited about it. It will allow the students to practice math skills in a fun game environment and the kids really enjoy it. So more information will follow with that. And also students will be utilizing our online math curriculum through the um, HCPS start page. Your teacher may post a link on its learning um, within the math lesson to take you right to Savis Realize, or um, you can access it through the tile. Um, students will access assignments for math by clicking on that Savis tile or by joining it, linking to it through the link in its learning. Now we have had some glitches. We had some today. Um, our math class walked our students through and some students could get on to Savis and then some got an error message. So if that happens, please notify your math teacher and they will give you directions on tips to help you resolve that issue. But the advantage of the students being able to work through the Savis curriculum is that the work that they submit goes directly to the teacher. So it's not taking pictures of everything because I know that can be overwhelming if you had to do that in every subject. All right, this is Miss Mayor speaking. So as you can see, reading is on Mondays and Wednesdays, and the components of reading workshop include whole group mini lesson video, the small group instruction, conferencing, and independent reading. While all of these components will not be in every lesson, each reading class will have at least the mini lesson and independent reading time. And independent reading time is so important because one goal is for students to build their stamina and read independently for 45 minutes. The reason for this goal is because students who read even 20 minutes a day perform better on tests, have a larger vocabulary, and they're exposed to more general information. We also encourage and teach our students that the only way to get better at something is to practice. So they can be reading books and materials you have at home, or they could even be reading digital books online. So here are some of the skills your student will be learning this year during the mini lesson. Um, conferences and during the small group time. They'll have time to practice these skills during independent reading too. So some students, they may even receive phonics and sight word practice, and we try to differentiate our groups to teach students the skills that they need. Mrs. Mulligan, are you ready to talk about writing? She's muted. <laughs> Sorry, yes I am. <laughs> awesome. Mrs. Mulligan, uh, we have writing at the same time on Tuesday and Thursday as the reading block on Monday and Wednesday because these two um, <clears throat> content areas are so closely related. We, so we will meet from 1245 to 2 o'clock on Tuesday and Thursday. We have four major units of study in writing. We're beginning the year with a personal narrative, teaching the children how to write a small moment story from their own life. 
We will do information writing, which is writing nonfiction. We will have a persuasive writing unit where we are going to write speeches and petitions, and we'll be ending our year um, with fairy tale and uh, writing, which is creative writing. Students will be given the independent write, will be given independent writing time each day. This time is designed to build their stamina in writing, just as they have 45 minutes for uh, stamina in reading. We're trying to get the children to be able to write um, for those that amount of time. One goal is the goal is then for a student to write a full page a day. So we're talking a like a <clears throat> notebook page per day. So our goal is for the students to successfully get their point across on paper on their own. I had several students ask me today, well, can my mom or, you know, my um, my adult who's sitting here with me, can they help me with my writing? Um, we we would encourage um, adults to um, coach their children, but not to do that writing for them. We're really trying to get the children to do that themselves. So there will be time for them to uh, draft. We will be teaching them to edit and revise. We will be teaching them to um, also uh, proofread, and we will have um, publication of their work with celebrations. Um, the things that the students will need will be paper and pencils and pens. Um, any kind of paper is fine. Um, some additional items that they might find helpful with their work area might be some sticky notes, a pair of scissors, scotch tape, and I didn't even put um, perhaps a stapler. Uh, please help your children to have a spot to keep all of their writing so that they are um, together with that. So a, a binder, a notebook, a folder. And writing assignments will need to be uploaded and sent to teachers. So uh, we will be helping the students to do that. So taking some pictures and emailing or um, some teachers will even take it as a text. All right, this is Miss France talking about social studies. We have social studies at 215 to 245 on Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, we have a few social studies units and these alternate with science. So our first two units kind of go together. We talk about school penguin pride and then we begin our unit of social of citizenship and communities. Um, we will do science after and we will flip flop every unit with science. We will talk about economics, maps and movement and Hartford County history. I do have a note down here that your child will be completing assignments for a grade and I just want you to know that we will have assignments for grades in every subject but I wanted to give a reminder that social studies and science will also be graded along with reading and writing and math. For our science um, we have three major units we have weather and climate, forces and interactions, and life cycles, traits, and ecosystem changes. Like I said, social studies and science alternate units to fill up our entire school year. This is Ms. Kuhn. I will be talking a little bit about word work. Um, so word work is on Tuesday and Thursdays um, from 2.15 to 2.45. During this time, your child will watch a pre-recorded mini lesson um, before their live meeting. Um, they will complete independent work and then they will also participate in live small groups with their teacher. Um, for the curriculum, we are using the Lucy Calkins second grade phonics units, um, which there are four main units. The first one is growing into second grade phonics. The second one is about tackling multisyllabic words. The third one focuses on word builders and the fourth one focuses on word collectors. You might be thinking, why are we doing a second grade unit? Um, so I put in a note at the bottom. This is really going to help close that gap between what your child can read and what they can write. So we are using this second grade curriculum to review previous skills 
And we also missed some skills last year when they were in second grade due to COVID when we switched virtually. So we thought it was really important um, to use this phonics unit to learn those skills that were missed. Okay, hi, this is Mrs. Kugel. Um, so I'm going to talk about assignments. There will be no homework, and I did say that, no homework while we are learning virtually. Um, students will have lessons and activities to complete during the school day. So that's what those um, flex group and those independent times are when we send the children off. That's when they'll be completing um, those activities. And those activities are submitted in a variety of ways and they will be graded. Um, if your child misses a meeting or is late, they could be missing assignments and this does have the ability to impact their grades. So please make sure that they are getting um, to class time on time. And if they do have to miss, please make sure you inform their teachers that they might be late or you know if they're going to be absent that day, just so we can make sure that they get their instruction. Um, you know, in their their assignments. On Friday, um, we will be delivering asynchronous instruction on Friday only and Monday through Thursday. They will be on the computer 930 AM to 3 PM with breaks and time for independent, you know, learning and um, work completion during the day. Um, the asynchronous pre-recorded instruction on Fridays. Um, they participate in a live morning meeting with their teacher from 9.30 to 9.40, and that'll be with their homeroom teacher, but there will be no closure meeting at the end of the day. Um, students complete the asynchronous counseling lesson with Ms. Felty that day. They'll complete asynchronous and independent activities in reading and math. And um, if you have a special education student or if the teacher wants to reach out to um, have a small group meeting that day, they will schedule that with you in advance. Um, so just be you know, on the lookout for those opportunities. Ellie, you are muted. I am so sorry. Um, we're going to talk about learning packets. Students are expected to complete the packets weekly. You will have to submit pictures to your teacher. Um, it can be done as arranged with the teacher. I know that um, I spoke with a parent today and she would like to drop the packet off at school and that is fine as long as the arrangement is made and the teacher gets the packet. Because as stated, the packets, the work that's done will be graded. A new packet will be mailed each week. If for some reason, you do not receive a packet in the mail, please notify your child's teacher so we can get a copy to you. Um, your child's teacher will check in with your child weekly um, just to check in to see if they need help with anything or if there's any questions about anything and just a time to touch base. Just for some general information, um, questions that we've been receiving. We do not at this time have a specific date as to when the devices will come in for third grade. We were told mid-October. We're hoping that that um, remains the same. Um, more information will be coming when we have it. We do not have any updated information about when we will be returning to the school building. Um, I think we all want to get there. Um, it, it's challenging for everyone, virtual learning. So we, um, again, don't know anything other than what you know. So just keep um, listening for any updates. We do encourage you to check all of the different social media sites that 
HCPS has and that William Pico Old Post Ro Road has to stay up to date on all of the information. And you can see on this poster on here the different uh, ways of communication that we have. I'm not going to read all of them to you. I know a lot of you utilize these already. Again, this information is being recorded and will be available for you to refer back to if you need any additional information from this slide. So um, a lot of our families um, and teachers alike have been having um, different questions for technology. So um, there are many different helplines that we can um, access and use. OK, um, the Family Technology Support for Virtual Learning references the how to um, access the document. It is available on the hcps.org, HCPS Together web page. The, um, there are phone numbers. There are, notice there are two separate phone numbers. From 7 a.m. to 12 noon is the top number, the 8096336 number. And in the evening, someone will be manning the technology support Monday through Thursday um, until 9 p.m. in the evening, and that's the 8096370 number. You can always email technical questions to, um, to um, get personalized support at technicalquestions at hcps.org. And you can also send requests for equipment and digital resources in the help form section of the hcps.org um, web page. Uh, the HCPS together is very informative. They keep you up to date on many different aspects of what's going on with virtual learning. We also have come up with a William Paca Old Post Road Tech helpline. So if you are finding it difficult to get into the county website, um, you can call this number 240-600-1475. Enter a conference ID number. And there will be someone from William Paca who will be getting in touch with you to help you with your questions in technology. We all understand um, that technology glitches happen all the time. We've been experiencing them left and right. Your students have been phenomenal dealing with and being patient with their equipment and with the platforms. Uh, we certainly appreciate everything you're doing to help solve the problems with your students, and we certainly understand. This is our information for our guidance counselor, Mrs. Felty. Um, she wanted us to include this as a, in our presentation. Um, so her office hours are from 8.30 to 3.30. And her email is lynda.felty at hcps.org. She is absolutely wonderful. And our last slide has contact information for all of the teachers that you've heard from here, as well as our enrichment teacher, Rachel Spiegelmeyer. Um, I'm not going to read all the contact information. This is being recorded, and you will be able to pause the video at your own time and record the contact information as you see fit. At this time, I'm going to end the slideshow and ask Mrs. Mayer if there is any questions that can be answered. We do not have any questions at this time. Um, All right. Well, we certainly appreciate everyone coming tonight and I am looking forward to a wonderful school year together. 
Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you for coming. Thank Have you all very week. much.